All right, all right, all right. I'm here with the world's largest bay boat this morning. This is the 3100 Carolina Bay from Tidewater Boats. And when I say large, I definitely do not mean slow. She's got a pair of 400 horsepower Mercury racing engines on the back of her, which makes her a 75 mile an hour top end boat. So this girl is just right over 31 feet. She's 31 feet, one inches and sports a 10 foot, two inch beam. 7,200 pound dry weight. She's got a 220 gallon fuel capacity. 19 gallons of fresh water. And this one has a 35 gallon aquarium live well on the back. And they come with a bunch of standard features. The 3100 does. They come standard with the zip wake trim tabs. They got these cool uh, swim platforms on the back. And your steps just fold right out. I've got twin 10 foot blade power poles on the back of this thing. Standard Bob's machine jack plate. Big underwater lights. And she's dirty, I'm sorry. And I gotta get a shout out to uh, all of our truckers and transporters across the nation. Keeping food in my belly. But look at that. Boy, they barely made it in. They made it in on two tires and that one's wobbling. That one's leaning. Back to this beautiful boat. <clears throat> get my sandals off here she's got a 17 degree dead rise uh, and the features and that they have on these things are just pretty 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 cool I'm gonna show you some of them and she's dirty I'm sorry she just got in as I mentioned on the leaning post she's got a 35 gallon aquarium live well you see she's got nice friction hinges there it's not gonna smash your fingers on the way down rod holder cup holder combos and a giant t-top it fits the beam of the boat well uh, but it's pretty big if i had batteries i'd turn everything on and you can see she's got led lights that go all the way around it you've got good seating in the back here triple seating if you need it And then they've got this extremely accessible bilge area. Look at that. Sheboygan. Even I can get in there. And then it's got a motion activated light in this bilge access as well. I don't have batteries on here, but if I had batteries in there, poof, lights would come on. Um, so that's one of their standard features is a motion activated bilge light. All right, another cool feature that they have are these side steps right here. And I'm gonna fold it down by hand. But with the height of the gunnel, it didn't make sense to put in a dive door. You know, and most people just step on the gunnel and then step down in. So Tidewater put in these cool steps here on both sides. And it just makes it ergonomically the right, it's just the right right height to get in and out of your boat. Boy, I'm glad my wife takes care of my toenails. Look at that. They're on camera. Never thought they would have been. Let's see what we got here. Whoa, look at that tackle storage. Wow. You know, Tidewater's a fully foam-filled hole. They get two fillings, one inside of the mold and one once it comes out. Freshwater wash down right here on the back of the leaning post. I'm probably gonna fill that up with batteries. I imagine that's what's going in there. LeBrock Billfish helm seats. Probably the best seats in the market. Big folding bolster, nice armrest. Stitching is nice. Material is nice. And then we get back to standard features. Uh, wireless phone charger, standard. Mercury joystick, standard. 16 inch Simrads, standard. Zip wake trim tabs, standard. JL Audio Media Master 105, standard. Bunch of speakers, standard. I keep saying standard if you want me to. 
nice push button switch panel and all this is backlit i wish i had some batteries on here but i'm just eager eager beaver and then once you go up uh, to the bow of the boat um, comfort is not spared at all that's for sure big lounge seat all of their cushions all of my cushions are in my shop them guys grab them things first for anything uh, but all of the cushions uh, attach with magnets so they just pop right on no uh, snaps or anything like that they just pop on and they stay and these backrests remind me of uh, that lawn furniture my grandma used to have back in Tennessee that would would trap you up in it you know the big <laughs> The big lounger, you get trapped up in the lounger sometimes. This works better than that lounger. Uh, but you get the drift there. You can fold them down all the way if you don't want the backrests. Or you can put them right where you want. The Tidewater's giving this little bee a drink. What's up, bee? Let's see what's underneath this lounger. Big cooler underneath the lounger. And it's got some LED lights in it as well. Nice foam seal on the bottom with the Tidewater logo. Big fish boxes underneath these seats. And then people say, bat, you know, bay boat hybrid, bay boat hybrid. You know, I'm not trying to argue with people. Um, but this is the world's largest bay boat. And it's a bay boat because it has a big casting platform on the front. And that is what's synonymous with bay boats are large casting decks. And so this has a large casting deck on the front. She's got another live well underneath the center seat here just forward of the lounge seat let's see what type of storage we've got here big storage molded for a five gallon bucket it's a good spot for your cast net through hole windlass standard Got them toe buttons down here. Beep, beep. And then she's got a Minn Kota Instinct. Big old trolling motor. Simrad Dome Radar. White powder coating. She's Cabo Blue. It's got the Cabo Blue underneath the T-top. Boom. Nice China Bowl head. Battery switches. That's a big, uh, it's a big console. Got a nice step to get in and out. Dual mirrors. Big door and it closes properly. Sometimes they don't. Uh, plug in your battery chargers here. She's cool. T-tops integrated into the console. Big motorized window vent. I like everything about it. I've got to get it on the water and do some performance tests next. I'm trying to try that 75 mile an hour out for myself. So Tidewater's 3100 Carolina Bay. World's largest bay boat. Twin stepped hull. Twin Mercury 400 R's. Joystick. 16 inch simrads zip weight she's loaded cushions comfort fishability you call it you know the deal jared sells boats i take trades I've got financing insurance i've got a bunch of boats in stock <laughs> This one's Cabo Blue Sides, uh, and it's got white on the bottom, 
Yeah, he blew a he blew a seal for real. This one's gonna get whack whack waxed. Oh, that's a good looking boat. Come see me.